Look at my skin. Look at it. It's glowing and it's not because it's wet. It's not. It's just happy and healthy. What is up guys? Welcome back. Today I am sans makeup and I'm going to remain without makeup throughout the entire video because today I'm going to be showing you my routine <laughs> morning and night for glowing skin with actually no makeup. <laughs> Lately, I have been really trying to concentrate on my skin, upgrading my skincare routine. I don't know if you guys know this, if you're new here, I'm 34 going on 35 years old and after a while, <laughs> Certain products just don't cut it, especially when it comes to as many actives as I like to use on my skin. Never really grew out of acne, it just turned into adult acne. Uh, I am using a lot of like retinol and peels and all sorts of things like that. Full disclosure, I have Botox in my forehead, I have a little bit of lip filler that I've been maintaining for years and years and years. This is not news, I just want to make sure that, you know, nobody gets the wrong idea about what can be achieved with skincare and what cannot be achieved with skincare. But a lot of what kind of falls to the wayside for me is the moisture and the hydration of my skin. And so that was what I had been concentrating on, finding the hero products for that. Also, learning more about what my skin needs as it pertains to including more actives in my skincare routine. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my whole morning routine and how I get this like very dewy look and maintain it all day without makeup. And then I'll show you my nighttime routine. And this video is happily sponsored by your friends at dermstore.com. So dermstore has literally everything. So the products that I have used for ages, and then also products that I have been dying to try. So you're gonna see stuff that I have bought and you're going to see stuff that was gifted to me as well, and things that I've been integrating into my routine a lot lately. I have been influenced by some of the most like gorgeous skin-having people on the internet and finally got to try some of these products that I have been fantasizing about for so long and they knocked it out of the park. So I'm excited to show those to you guys. So all the products that are included in this video are available on dermstore.com. Everybody gets 15% off on your first order. It's just, it's not even like a code or anything. It's just when you go on their website and they have everything from luxury skincare, sun care, which we're going to talk about a lot today, hair care, they've got makeup. They really are a destination for not just really high-end, beautiful, effective skincare, but education too. I am, I don't talk that much about skincare on my channel because I don't know that much about it. And every time I try and speak with any kind of authority on it, somebody who is an expert comes into my comments and they're like, you're spreading misinformation, <laughs> you know, kind of unwittingly. And so they have a blog that's like right there and they have these super, super helpful, straightforward articles that are like, here, if you do this to your skin, you should probably do this to your skin too. And it's not just pushing products. It's going to help you understand the active ingredients in a moisturizer or a hydrating serum or a sunscreen or whatever that's gonna help you mirror the needs of your skin with the benefits of uh, certain things that your skin might need and I benefited so much from reading those articles so yeah I'm going to move you guys in I want you to get like a full HD view of what's happening on my face I'm actually gonna take my skincare off and do it again with you to show you the before and after. And uh, I'll share my experience with all of these products with you as I go along. But suffice to say, the TLDR here is my skin here has gotten a huge upgrade. So let's go ahead and jump in. And you're seeing my hair in its natural state right now. <laughs> this is my hilarious regrowth when it's just allowed to do what it wants. My hair is actually very curly, it's just also long, so it weighs itself down, but oh my goodness, this is just outstanding, isn't it? So good. So this is the Ren. This is their special summer edition of it, but this is their daily AHA tonic, and this stuff is just absolutely beautiful. It's got cucumber, willow bark, and lactic acid. Super gentle, very effective. I usually use this at night because the lactic acid isn't active, so you wanna make sure that you stay out of the sun. So I'm actually on like day three of my lady times right now, so this is like broken out for me. I had really missed having good skin. For a long time, I was just getting like, you know, 
thousands of dollars worth of peels, just trying to unearth good skin underneath all of the picking that I had done for so many years. But I wanted to bring my routine back down to earth a little bit. And I've been having trouble, like I said, meeting that with the amount of daily care for, I need a hair tie. I've been having trouble kind of meeting that with the daily care that makes my skin look like it's glowing. That, cause that's the vibe, you know what I mean? That's the vibe. I want, I want my skin to look like it's glowing even when there's nothing on it. So anyway, the first thing that I do after I splash my face gracefully with water in the morning is, um, I just spray this all over. This is, as you guys know, I mean, I have them everywhere. They're just my ride or die. This is the Caudalie Eau de Beauté Beauty Elixir. It is a refreshing face spray that also happens to have a ton of gorgeous skincare benefits to it. Ha 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 ha. You almost don't need two cups of coffee. Almost. Right <laughs> when I wake up, it's like, whoo, whoo. Yes. <laughs> It gives me goosebumps, it's so good. So that is what I always start with and it gives me time to think about my next step. My skincare routine like gives my skin something to do for a second instead of just drying out, which is what it wants to do. So the next thing is actually the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift. I don't like to put a whole ton of products on my face in the morning, at least not a whole ton of one product. Like I like to keep it kind of light so that when I do layer them, I don't have a whole bunch of like, you know, gummy dewy stuff that feels heavy on my face, especially if I'm gonna put on makeup, etc. But I do love that all of these really stick around. The texture that it leaves on my skin, that dewiness really stays for a long time. So yeah, the Resveratrol Lift, this is their day, like the basic one, you know, and then they have a night cream version of that. It has just a very, very soft kind of smell to it. I think it has more to do with the ingredients than anything else. I have been working on this for quite a while and it is a really lovely, lightweight moisturizer for daytime. Works great under makeup. Mm. And I've really noticed a difference since I've been using this. It makes my skin just look younger, happier, <laughs> dewier, Again, I'm just looking for anything that looks like my skin decided to take a drink of water because I can drink all the water I want. My skin often still just looks so, so dehydrated, mm. especially as we go into fall. Like I have just noticed my skin wanting to get dry and I always want to take hotter and hotter showers <laughs> as it gets chillier outside, which is no, no, no khaki. Bad for my skin. The next thing that I use is this actually there are two so i told you guys i kind of went a little nuts with the sun care on this new routine because i realized like if i'm going to go heavy lifting in terms of like retinol and overnight things i really need to make sure that i love the spf that i'm using so about three i got the tula probiotic superfood mineral magic this is an oil-free mineral sunscreen fluid broad spectrum spf 30 UVA and UVB protection. This is the mineral sunscreen that I picked up. That is what she looks like. Hello, hello. I've been wanting to try Tula for ages because it is probiotic skincare and I just love, I love all things probiotic. And then I got the SkinCeuticals Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen and this is an SPF 30, brightens and evens skin tone. And this is a chemical sunscreen. I can wear chemical or physical sunscreens I just have to make sure that there is no octanoxate. And this one is avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. So this is also really, really beautiful. And then I also got one that's like a reapplication throughout the day. I'll show you that in a second. So this one right here, the SkinCeuticals, this is again, the chemical sunscreen. It, you know, it's not gonna leave a cast because it's a chemical sunscreen. And so when it spreads out, it has this beautiful, there are just like birds chirping outside the window. My Snow White, um, it has this really beautiful glow to it. It's not shimmery or anything. And the beauty of both of these is that they dry down. Like they dry down in a really, really lovely way. Like as they are on your skin, you can feel as you're spreading them out, you're like, oh, that's committing, <laughs> you know? It has committed to our relationship. And that makes me really, really happy because there are so many sunscreens that I appreciate the effects of, but they never really want to, set down at all on my skin. And then I just feel like they're like soupy and not doing their job. And then this, the Tula, always give, give a mineral sunscreen a shake a room. This one has like, you can see it right there um, on the outside of the bottle. 
a little bit of like a gold tint to it which is such a great, I don't want to say universal, because it actually does show up on my skin, but a much more agreeable tone to a lot more skin tones because it's not committing all the way to tan and it's not committing all the way to white. So that is what that one looks like right when you put it on. So you can see there's almost like a line of demarcation because, I mean, granted, that's a lot of it I just put on, but like that's my natural skin tone. And then that's this beautiful golden glow that that one has. And Neither of them really has like a strong smell to it. Some of the SkinCeutical stuff will sometimes smell a little bit like lavender. This one doesn't. It smells a little bit like uh, lemongrass. I'm gonna use the Tula today, although you can tell by how manky this is that I've been using the daylights out of it. I wanna show you guys just how freaking pretty this is. So, oh. And this is not a mineral sunscreen in the sense of adding any kind of coverage. It just has this like beautiful golden micro, uh, what would you say, luminosity to it? Micro luminosity. I'm making up really, really professional sounding words. This is me talking about skincare, guys. Like, surely there's going to be someone in the comments being like, there's no such thing as micro luminosity khaki. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that is why I try and like read as much as I can, but also you guys know I'm not like a semantics person. I'm not sitting here like, oh, I want to learn about the size of the molecules because I don't. <laughs> I just want someone to tell me what works. So this is beautiful. And probiotic skincare for me has always just been such a game changer because it basically like helps your skin do its job better instead of like fighting or just sitting there or whatever. Again, listen, I, I, I'm obviously a professional at this. No, I just, I've used things that have probiotics in them before and it's a sensation in the skincare industry for a reason, basically. Um, my moisturizer that I'm gonna show you guys in a second has yogurt in it, like awesome. Little secret, and I've shared this before, but I still use it all the time and this tiny bottle goes so far in this respect. This is the Super Goop Bright Eyed 100% Mineral Eye Cream SPF 40. This is such a nifty little secret to looking brighter, bright eyed, during the day with no makeup because it's got this like color canceling effect to it. So, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit pink, a little bit, just a little bit, you know? And, <laughs> Pink zinc, why have they never called anything pink zinc? It's like pink drink. I put that basically where I have my melasma <laughs> and my under eye circles and honestly like kind of anywhere I want to camouflage a little bit, like some dark spots that I'm working on and stuff. And it is like a nice color corrector. Look at that, it's like lifted, it's brightened and it's a little bit of actual extra sun protection where my face needs it. And that also has a nice dry down to it. So I wanted to open this with you guys. So this is brand new and I, this is kind of crossing over between skincare and makeup. So I don't know if you really, you know, count this as like no makeup makeup, but like I've been wanting to try color science since you got, I mean, everybody, this is another one of those brands where everybody's like, I can't believe you haven't tried them yet. And this is a little set of sunscreen, oh no, sunscreen, blush and bronzer and highlight sticks. Like you didn't think I was gonna get through this video without talking about blush, did you? Let me swatch these real quick and we'll decide where I want to, oh yeah. Oh, those are good. You know, these kinds of things can go sideways if the skincare is great and the color isn't, or if the color is great but the performance isn't kind of thing. So that is the bronzer, the blush, and kind of a highlighter blush sort of thing. I'm gonna start with the lighter one. Why have I never seen these? I've never seen anyone talk about these. I would think that State of Kate would talk about something like this. <laughs> a mineral SPF blush. These are all SPF 50. Holy macaroni. Are they min Are they all mineral? 100% uh, mineral and water resistant for 40 minutes. That is awesome. Okay, so that was the shade <laughs> blush as you would have it. And then I'm gonna use the bronze. And then what's the other one called? Berry. 
Okay, mm. little bronze moment. Like, is this absolutely vital to your morning routine if you're just trying to get out the door? No. But is it a lot of fun? Yes. Does it serve several purposes? Yes. Hey, that's actually really lovely, isn't it? Just a little glow moment and then, actually this component is really nice. It's got actually like the little roll ball right here. To me that says, I'm not going to roll up and smash in your purse. <laughs> There's something to be said for those little considerations. And then, because it's fall and because it's me, um, we're gonna go berry. Is it a lip and cheek or is it just a cheek? Total protection color bomb. I guess you could put this on your lips too because they're not really specific. Oh, yeah, like I said, you know, it could be a case of like, it's a great sunscreen, but it's not a great blush formula. And it actually is a really great blush formula too. <laughs> it blends really, really easily. And y'all know I'm not a fingers girl. Okay, so I technically violated the no makeup part of this, but I'm glad that you guys got to watch me try that because that's kind of an awesome, like, that's just a game changer, you know? Okay, and last step for daytime is maintenance of my SPF because it's important to me to be able to reapply and we all know that that is kind of difficult, finding a really good SPF that reapplies. So this one is a chemical sunscreen. Mineral sunscreens in a spray don't always work for me. This one has been gorgeous. And this is the Soleil du Jour. I, again, French people, I am so sorry. Soleil, Soleil du Jour. And uh, it is the Clean Conscious Set and Protect Micro Mist. Keep your eyes closed when you use this. It's gonna have some alcohol in it because that's what helps it evaporate and dry down. Come on, hair. But. When I say <laughs> that it puts just the most gorgeous glow on your skin, but it isn't greasy, awesome. Because I've used the Super Goop Defense Refresh and it's also great, but it does leave a little more dewiness, a little more oiliness on my skin than I would like. And it also kind of feels like it's at the same time, like freezing the hairs on my face. It's a very strange formula. It's not my favorite. This one is great. Look at my skin. Look at it. It's glowing and it's not because it's wet. It's not. It's just happy and healthy. So that is my daily, I don't want to wear makeup, but I still want to be a glowing goddess skincare routine. And it's just as lovely feeling as it is lovely looking. So now let's talk about my nighttime skincare that helps me wake up to glowing beautiful skin too. So the first thing that I do after I use a gentle cleanser on my face to just make sure that I get, you know, all the day's miscellany off of there. I spray it with this, my Caudalie Beauty Elixir again. Give my skin like a moment while I strategize around the rest of my routine. To me, that stuff is equally skincare and aromatherapy. So it like puts me in this spa mindset right before I do my skincare. So the next thing is like a, a treatment, right? And honestly guys, it's like I've saved sort of my most excited about products for last year, but this is one of the ones that I was the most excited about because I've just seen this brand everywhere and I've been dying to try it. So this is the Multi Acids and Retinoid Brightening Sleeping Facial from Allies of Skin. I have heard such good things about this line and as I've been using this, yeah. Can confirm, when I was talking about earlier, when you're using strong actives because this is 7% AHA, BHA, 1% retinoid complex, 7% brighteners, 5 antioxidants. We're talking about the effects of retinol in terms of fine lines and anti-aging and stuff like that, but also it has to be met with gentleness, compensatory gentleness for my skin. So this is just such a unique product. I've used a lot of retinols. I've used a lot of anti-aging overnight night bomb things. And this is just like all in one package. We all love to talk about saving money by buying individual active ingredients, right? And combining them. And that is totally cool. If you understand what you're doing and you're willing to kind of do the legwork to figure out how to combine those products to best benefit your skin, you play chemist all day long. Me, I'm willing to pay the money to get someone to formulate it perfectly for me. And that is what this does. So this is a very, I'm gonna just do a teeny tiny bit because this is very valuable stuff. <laughs> it smells kind of like raisins, <laughs> like in the most wonderful way possible. So like, it's just kind of slightly purpley brown, 
when you put it on. Smells like retinol, smells like, smells like raisins. But it's got a ton of really, really good, like naturally derived stuff in it that's going to help you know, hydrate and make your skin look really bouncy, but it's also super, super effective in terms of being like a really good overnight retinol. And they say to use it three days in a row and then just like, you know, give your skin a break for the rest of the week. That's how I have like learned to use retinol by trial and error with my skin because I need a chance for my skin to recover. But I've never heard like a company or a product give that specifically in the instructions. So I found that to be really, really helpful. It's like, hey, you're not crazy. Your skin does start to dry out if you use this day after day after day after day after day, and you don't need to do that. So I use one pump and it goes all over my face, all over my neck and even onto my chest. It's a very thin product. And so it's a really, really ideal treatment in that sense, but it's also got a really nice serum -y texture. And so it kind of is the best of both worlds and a little goes such a long way. So this has been really knocking my socks off. I am so glad that I got it and the hype is real. Now there's some controversy as to when to apply an eye cream or whether eye creams do anything, but I did decide, you know, Derm Store did offer to let me try some products for this video. And this was one that I decided to try. So this is the Kate Somerville plus retinol firming eye cream. And this is a lovely, super, super lightweight eye cream. And it is like this kind of yellow color on the skin and um, no, no real scent or anything. And it's a little bit more like matte in texture, but my skin soaks it up really nicely. And again, it's just a nice concentrated active right there where your under eyes need a little bit of a different kind of care than the rest of your face. So barely any, you know, necessary for this. Like I don't have to use very much and it's got this really nice kind of cooling tip on it, but I've been using that after, sometimes after, sometimes before. You guys let me know. I always think that if I put it on before my moisturizer, I'm just gonna rub it all over my face when I put my moisturizer on. But then putting it on after my moisturizer, I wonder if it's really getting down there to my under eye area as well. You see, guys, I don't pretend to know more than I know, all right? I'm just, I'm just trusting the process here. So I have two night moisturizers. And this is because if you've been watching my channel for a while, especially as I get into winter, game over. Like, especially my neck, but like everything just gets so dry. So I need a regular maintenance overnight, like really lovely hydrating moisturizer. And then I also need a nuclear option. So this is my every single night moisturizer. This is the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift firming night cream. I almost tried to read the French and we didn't, none of us needed that. But um, this is so much more, oh, the word is unctuous, okay? It's like onomatopoetic. It is heavier, more hydrating and heavy in a good way for me um, of a moisturizer and my skin just goes, eh, thank you. It feel, oh, what does it feel like? It's like creamier, balmier, serum, Eater, bouncier, dewier. It's just a really, really beautiful kind of version of the resveratrol lift cream, but for nighttime. And I really, really love this. Sometimes I'll put like oils on top if I really need them, or sometimes I will like finish off with like an overnight mask or something. But lately this has been enough. Ooh, tundra. <laughs> We're getting a bunch of storms in New Jersey right now and it's bringing the cool weather like every single time. This is one of my favorite times of year. I don't think I'm alone in that respect, but like watching it get cold, like waking up each morning and it's a little bit chillier and the storms are awesome. We don't get a lot of storms in Austin, Texas. It's gonna be a long time before I complain about rain in New Jersey. So this is the nuclear option and I have seen this product everywhere. And this was another one where, you know, Someone gave me the opportunity to treat myself and I wanted to be credible. I wanted to have a credible opinion from actually trying this product and you know, wearing it for a while to best, better understand whether it was worth the hype. So this is the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242 Anti-Aging Lipid Replenishment Treatment. 2% ceramides, 4% cholesterol, and 2% fatty acids. This is for people like me who need that insane hydration. Anti-aging. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, why am I wasting this? I think this is oh, pretty expensive. I want to put this on my neck. This is like when your skin is screaming at you and it's looking really crepey and you might have gone four or five nights in a row with your retinols or combined the wrong 
acids together or had some kind of reaction or spent a little too long in the sun or maybe it's just winter time and your skin's freaking out. <sighs> This is the real thing. It's something that people are constantly trying to dupe, but on a lot of the skincare accounts that I follow on Instagram, they talk about this product as something that the price is justified by the ingredients. Ceramides are expensive to put in products. And the fact that this is formulated with such beautiful lipids in such a, a balanced complex, like you feel it as soon as you put it on your skin, it feels heavenly, especially if you are a dry skin person like me. So this has just been, I mean, above and beyond what I expected from it, but it's just so good. And you guys know, I have tried so many things to try and solve for that emergency moisture situation that I end up in sometimes. And this is the one, <laughs> this is the one. And I finally found it. Unfortunately, you know, it is really pricey, but I kind of expected that, you know, when you've tried everything else and you've exhausted all of your options, again, you're paying for the quality of the ingredients in this formula and you can feel it when you use it. It is so yummy. It's yummy. It feels fantastic. And dry skin people, you know what I'm talking about. Like oily skin people are like, I, what? <laughs> like, why would I want that? But like, oh man, it feels like a good night's sleep, like instantly, you know? It's, it's so nice. So the only other thing that I feel is worth mentioning, especially as it pertains to what's on offer at Derm Store, if you wanna get that 15% off, that I use pretty regularly, especially when I'm on my woman times. I've had this thing for ages and I swear by it. This is the Light Stim for Acne. It is awesome. It is a blue and red light situation, and especially for someone who is, again, not an expert in skincare, all I do is while I'm like sitting in bed doing my crossword puzzle or perusing Pinterest at night, I just bonk this thing right on whatever ails me, and it clears the bacteria. It kills the bacteria underneath your skin, I think. I think that's how it works. And so it, you know, breaks up your breakouts, tells them to go away, tells them you're not welcome here. You are dismissed and it really, really works. I don't know about like cystic acne and things like that, but like for garden variety, hormonal breakouts and like regular adult acne, it has worked wonders for me and you cannot hurt yourself with it. I mean, don't put it on your eye. They do give you little goggles and stuff, so you could hurt yourself with it that way, but I'm saying you can't over toast your skin. You can just sit there with that thing on, on a zit for like, you know, until the cows come home and it's only going to help. So I, I like those odds. <laughs> I also want to mention, especially as we go into the holiday season shopping and whatnot, Derm Store now has a beauty fix subscription box. They have some exclusive sets where you can get, you know, good discounts on groups of products and some really beautiful gift sets. Skincare, hmm, hmm. I mean, <laughs> You could stuff my stocking with skincare and I would not be upset. Like it's a very heartfelt gift for someone who you, if you know their needs kind of thing. And they have a point system that's actually a really good point system. We all know that there are some point systems that don't mean anything. <laughs> this one actually can be redeemed for money off of your order at Durham store. So it's like a really good loyalty program. So yeah, that is, that's the vibe guys. This is my daytime, morning, nighttime skincare routine to look my best, look really glowy and youthful, even when I'm not wearing any makeup makeup, you know, and it just makes me feel like I'm ready to face the day. It is self-care as much as it is just nice to look at. And I also want to thank Derm Store, not just for sponsoring this video, but also for being a really great destination for people like me who need professional strength. <laughs> professional strength uh, actives and like active ingredients in my, my skincare products, especially as my skin is trying to age, but also for providing the education, like to have a place where I can like go and actually understand what it is that I'm buying before I invest bucks like this to make sure that, you know, I'm getting exactly what I need. And like I said, you can get 15% off of your Derm Store order, your first order. There are some exclusions to that, uh, but you will see all of the links down below to everything that I showed in this video. And if you have any additional questions, let me know. 
I hope I can try and, you know, illuminate on them, so to speak, but I definitely recommend checking out their blog because it knows a lot more than I do. Anything that's in my brain probably came from there. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it valuable. I am so like excited to be able to share products like skincare products when I truly believe in their results. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to talk about skincare that doesn't give me some pretty potent results. So, but yeah, guys, I hope you liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.